We've seen some monster funding rounds very early for some of these companies, 100 million, 200 million. Do they, do they fundamentally need that funding for data model access for, for something specific? Or is it a case of the demand is there and so raise what you can? I, I don't understand. Does it cost more money to build AI first companies than all generation of prior companies? It does a little bit. Um, a bit similarly, in my opinion, to how, you know, like you would build like an internet company or like a software company 20 years ago, because, um, compute is kind of like more expensive for AI than it is for traditional software because the team members that you need to hire, as we mentioned, are more expensive than uh, if you need regular software engineers. So it does cost more money to build an AI first startup than uh, a regular kind of like software startup. One thing that I am not really sure of is uh, if this model of not needing just a little bit more money, but much more money is really the right approach or not. Um, especially because uh, we're starting to realize that more compute for models is not necessarily the right thing or at least that it's it's not enough and the return on investment on training larger and larger models is starting to go down. So it changes a little bit the perspective on, on raising more money and more like having more money spent on compute as some sort of a mode or barrier to entry. But like all technology cycles, you know, you have companies taking, taking bets, right? And if investors want to take the same bets, I don't think it's a negative thing. I think it's it's a good thing. It doesn't mean that they all succeed, right? And that it's gonna work, but uh, it's an interesting risk to take and interesting kind of company to to build in my opinion. So I'm, I'm excited to see some of what these companies are, are going to build and, and do in the future.